What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Gorilla Pod 3K Pro. So let's talk about it. Anyways, uh, jokes aside, I bought this thing about a year ago. Um, I bought it before I took a two month European trip uh, to put my Sony a7 III on. This is obviously not the a7 III. It's being used to record this video. Um, in any case, I ended up really liking it. So throughout my photography career, I've used a lot of lenses, I'm um, sorry, a lot of tripods that are like $15 from Amazon. You know, they break in half if you look at them wrong. You know, they get ran over by your friend's truck and then thrown in a bonfire, but that's a story for another time. This guy is not like that. I believe it's made mostly of carbon fiber. It's pretty lightweight. I mean, it's, it's heavy duty, right? Like, you can tell that this is heavy duty, but it's not going to lay down your bag. When I took it to Europe, I actually strapped it to the bottom side of my Peak Design sling. Um, there's a review coming for that soon. And it stayed on there pretty nicely and it didn't really weigh me down too much. So the official weight capacity that um, Joby, that's the company that makes it, lists for this is I believe 6.6 .6 pounds. Um, my Sony a7 III with my Tamron 28-75, which again is being used to shoot this video, um, that weighs I think a little bit less than 3 pounds. I'll, I'll have metric conversions up on the screen here for you. So, yeah, I decided to go with that over the 3K. The 3K, I believe, is, um, I think it handles about three, 3 pounds, hence the name. And I chose the 3K Pro just so I had the flexibility in the future to add bigger lenses. Next up, we're talking about the legs here. So the legs, just like any like bendy tri tripod, you can bend them, and they're extremely stiff. Like, I have wrapped these things around tree branches, I've wrapped them like around stone like uh, fences and whatnot when I was in Europe. I didn't want to carry, when I was there, I didn't want to carry like a massive tripod because it's inconvenient. So usually I just found whatever I could strap this thing to and I did it. Heck, I even strapped this thing to like the door handles of vehicles and whatnot sometimes for the perfect shot, don't judge. But um, yeah, they're super bendy, super flexible, but they don't slide out of position like you might find with some of the cheaper tri tripods that I've used. So when it comes to the tripod head, you have a pretty typical, um, I believe it's Oka Swiss compatible tripod plate. You just screw it into the bottom of your camera like any tripod. And then, again, just like any tripod, it just kind of slots into the top here. There's like a little metal pin. You have to push that in to get it past it. I think it's to keep it from sliding out. And then you just use the screw knob and screw it into place here. This is not easy to do by standing. Um, beyond that, the actual tripod head itself is like a tilting style. So you just loosen it with this a little bit. And then, yeah, you can tilt it around. You can shoot vertically if you wish. Very handy for shooting TikToks. Um, and then, let me just lock this back into place here. Not easy to do, standing up. You could also tilt the entire head, as you can see. So, in the end, obviously I decided on the 3K Pro, but they also offer the 1K, the 3K Standard, and the 5K. Uh, they just support different weights. I believe the 1K is meant for like tiny mirrorless cameras, much like this A6000, obviously. The 3K is kind of in between, and the 5K, I believe, supports like 10,000 pounds or something. Not 10,000, 10 pounds. Um, and I believe that's meant for like professionals shooting with like big sports lenses and that sort of thing. Um, I chose the 3K Pro just because it's a nice middle ground, but yet it still allows me a little bit of uh, space to expand. So yeah, that's why I chose that. And that pretty much wraps up this review. I wanted to keep it simple. You don't need to listen to me ramble for 10 minutes about a tripod. So yeah guys, if you want to buy it for yourself, link is in the description down below. And if you like this video a lot, feel free to give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much and have a good day.